Okay, so we are on to the next topic for this playlist. And this time, we will be discussing about the other um, theories or concepts which explain how the universe came about. So again, um, these are the big ideas and the essential question, how did the universe come to be? And these are the learning targets that we are trying to um, accomplish at the end of this lesson. All right. So for the next theory, so we have the inflation theory. So um, the inflation theory proposed by Alan Guth, Andre Lind, Paul Steinhardt, and Andre, uh, Andy Albert in 1980 offered solutions to the unresolved problems revolving the Big Bang Theory. All right, so the inflation theory proposed a period of exponential in, um, expansion of the universe estimated to have happened 10 to the negative 35 to 10 to the negative 33 seconds. So this is prior to the more gradual Big Bang expansion. So Guth believed that this inflation was driven by the repulsive force of gravity, a behavior that was previously predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. So during the rapid expansion, um, the energy density of the universe was dominated by a cosmological constant type of vacuum energy. Later on, this decayed to produce the matter and radiation that filled up the universe. So um, the epoch of inflation um, lasted for only a fraction of a second, but the universe swelled before returning to its normal expansion. And during the universe's state of rapid expansion, the linear size of the universe increased by a factor of at least 10 to the 30. The inflation theory is regarded as an extension of the standard Big Bang Theory. Okay, so... Um, Remember again the problems of the Big Bang Theory that I have mentioned on the last lesson, which are flatness, um, we also have monopole, and lastly we have horizon. So, as a solution to the unresolved problem of the Big Bang Theory, the inflation theory offered the following solutions. So first, we have flatness. So, Imagine or suppose you are living on the surface of a basketball ball. The surface that you see is obviously curved. If the ball size is increased to the size of the earth, it would somehow appear flat even though it is still a sphere. So in astronomical proportion, it would appear flat because the inflation stretches any initial curvature of the universe to almost completely flat. Next problem, we have monopole. Now, the inflation theory allows the existence of the monopoles as long as they were produced prior to the inflationary epoch. During the rapid expansion, the density of the monopoles dropped exponentially to an undetectable level. And then finally, we have horizon. So the inflation theory assumes a burst of exponential expansion in the early universe. And it follows that the distant regions were actually much closer with each other prior to inflation. So the inclusion of the idea of a rapid inflation in the Big Bang model may have explained some observations, but it also required the addition of the principles of dark energy and dark matter to complete the new model. Um, the, the nature of dark energy and dark matter, I would like to clarify this, is still unknown. Dark energy is the energy of the empty space and is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Dark matter is considered a hypothetical kind of matter that cannot be seen with telescopes. It is believed to account for most of the matter in the universe. And the universe is believed to be composed of dark energy, dark matter, radiation, and ordinary matter, which uh, includes atoms, ions, protons, electrons, stars, galaxies, and lights. Okay, so... The much-needed conclusive evidence to support the inflation theory came in in the form of the predicted gravitational waves. So gravitational waves are distortions in space-time. The gravitational waves generated at the birth of the universe should have interacted with the cosmic background radiation, creating characteristic patterns that could be interpreted. So, 
On March 17, 2014, a team of astronomers, astronomers led by John Kovac of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics detected ripples, which they call as gravitational waves, in the fabric of space-time. So these gravitational waves were supposedly created in a violent inflationary event at the dawn of time. The ripples manifested themselves as faint spiral patterns in the cosmic microwave um, radiation. According to Kovac, the existence of gravitational waves is directly linked to the exponential expansion that is intrinsic to the inflation theory. Next, we have... Um, okay, so, however, um, even though there were a lot of explanations provided by the inflation, uh, inflation theory, still a question remains. What came prior to the Big Bang? So, to explain this, Physicists needed a new framework that would provide a cohesion for Einstein's um, general theory of relativity and also quantum mechanics. So, in the general theory of relativity, Einstein successfully provided an explanation that unified space, time, and gravity. So, the warps and curves in space and time are responsible for the force of gravity. In quantum mechanics, however, the particles at atomic and subatomic scales have tiny masses that even the concept of gravity is essentially irrelevant in their interaction. So, in string, uh, string theory, um, the assembly of the point-like particles often used in particle physics is replaced by fundamental building blocks called strings, which have dimensions confined to Planck length, which is equivalent to 10 to the negative 35 meters. The string may have may, uh, may come in closed or open form, and the strings are free to vibrate at different modes. Okay, and the different vibrational modes may represent any of the fundamental particles, such as electron, proton, or even graviton. So a graviton is a particle are, uh, is a particle carrying the force of gravity. And the speculation of the graviton is an important reason why the string theory received so much, uh, so much attention. It actually provided basis in making sense of the interaction of two gravitons. All right, so more on the string theory. Um, the string theory is actually consistent with quantum gravity. It is able to describe interactions of strings. It has the potential to unite all four forces in a single quantum mechanical framework that would link all the physical aspects of the universe. And this framework is hypothetically called the theory of everything or the TOE. Next, theory, we have the M theory. So, in an attempt to create a unified quantum theory of the fundamental constituents of the universe, the string approach would be improved upon, incorporating the idea of a relatively newer concept, which we call as brains. So, brains are two and five dimensional objects to which strings can attach at one or both of their ends. So, as you can see here in this picture that we have here, these are actually how they depicted brains would look like. Alright, so the universe is well described by four-dimensional space-time. So, the space is consisting of X, Y, and Z dimensions and time. However, there are situations where there is a need to have extra dimensions to make a theory more mathematically tractable and allow mathematical consistencies. The extra dimensions could not be observed in experiments. And the M theory considers 11 space-time dimensions to include the four-dimensional space-time and the other seven space-time dimensions that are so tiny and curled up, they are undetected. In the M theory, the origin of the universe occurred as a result of the contact of two hyperdimensional brains. Stephen Hawking and Leonard Moldino argued the collision or that the collision of brains leads to a new universe. So the M theory used by Hawking allows for an infinite number of parallel universes which have the possibility of interfacing. So actually 
Um, the details of the M theory are so daunting and baffling for theorists and physicists alike that the current understanding of the M theory up until now is still evolving. So in this picture that you can see here, this is how they depicted how the universe actually came about. So they said that there were two brains colliding with each other and that caused the creation of the universe.